You're watching Local 4 Plus. The news is next. Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 5 starts now. Case closed. To say that I'm disappointed in this outcome is really an understatement. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel says her investigation into the Nasser abuse scandal is complete. It is an investigation that started back in 2018, and now it has come to an end. And now we're getting our first look at the 6,000 documents connected to the abuse case dealing, what Michigan State did and what they didn't do to stop it. Investigator Karen Drew got her hands on the documents late this afternoon, and she's going to show us some of what she found in just a moment. We're going to start, though, with Sean Lay live tonight following the Attorney General's big announcement. Sean. Well, Karen is going through those documents, document by, by document. I got a chance to ask the attorney general, what's next in all this? Where is the accountability? Here's down. her answer. Sadly, there simply is no fulfilling uh, the answer to the question of how Nasser was able to perpetuate his abuse on so many for so long without MSU or anyone else putting a stop to it. To say that I'm disappointed in this outcome is really an understatement. Attorney General Dana Nessel says fighting MSU for 6,000 documents related to the Larry Nassar sex abuse scandal resulted in finally getting those documents and finding that there is nothing in them to answer the key questions. How Nassar was allowed to abuse so many for so long. Who at MSU knew and when did they know? Instead, the emails were mainly about public relations issues and concerns, not any smoking guns about Larry Nasser. I would say that, again, we, we charged everyone criminally that we had evidence to charge. Um, so in terms of moving forward, we, we are closing this investigation. What some email did reveal that text messages were being deleted and not saved at the highest levels of MSU. Still, the key question is, what is next? Anyone who who could have been charged where there was sufficient evidence to do so was already charged. Back here live, I've been asking MSU for their side of this for a statement today. They just sent me one basically saying attorney client privilege basically covered those documents that they believed. And we put that statement right on click on Detroit.com for you to check out. Karen Drew, however, going through those documents, there's a lot of them. Karen, what are you finding? Well, this is really interesting, Sean. There's a lot to dig through. We're talking about 6,000 documents like this. This is a handwritten note from Michigan State University. It says Office of the President. Now, that's when the first the case first broke back in 2016. Also, I want you to say emails from MSU athletes that are upset with how they were treated and how the school investigated. So when you take a close look at this email, a member of the MSU rowing team actually complains that coaches reached out to her. She thought they were just checking on her mental state when this was all breaking, but instead, they were actually representing the school and she felt totally misled. The section says the athlete writes that claim is a clever loophole as it does not seem my letter will be addressed in a way that I had hoped. I will close with this. Something needs to change at Michigan State, and I believe it starts with a level of transparency that is not being demonstrated. Now, our team is sifting through thousands of pages. I'll be back at 6 to share more with you today. Again, uh, the Attorney General has closed the case against MSU and his handling of the Larry Nasser case, but new developments obviously inside these 6,000 documents. I'll be back.